Hello guys. So in this session, we will learn how to build and test Ruby. So let's start. So as you know, firstly, we need a repository. So here I'm going to create new repository. So if you want to use your old repository, then you can use, but here I'm going to create new repository. So as you know how to create new repository, so first of all, enter our repository name. So my repository name will be build and test. Then after that, the description. So here I'm going to add a description. If you don't want, then you can skip. The description is how to build and test Ruby. After that, public or private. So here I'm going to choose this public. If you don't want, then you can choose private. Then add a readme file. Then create repository. So it's done. So our repository name is build and test Ruby. So now I'm going to clone my repository. So copy the HTTPS. And now here I'm using git bash to clone my repository. So how to clone? So the command is git clone and paste the HTTPS. So you must have this git command knowledge like uh, how to push code, clone, like that. So it's done. So go to the C drive, then user, and you can see build and test Ruby. This is our repository folder. So as of now, we have only one file with the name readme.md. So now here, the topic is build and test Ruby. So for that, we need a Ruby project, right? We need a Ruby project. So here I have one Ruby project, so I'm going to use this. So if you want to use this Ruby project, then you can clone my repository. Simply copy the HTTPS and clone my this Ruby project. So now it's done. So now let's push this code. So first of all, here I'm going to use Visual Studio Code here to push my code and let uh, for creating a workflow. So let's open our folder here. So click on file and let's open folder. So our folder name is build and test Ruby. So let's search here. Here, build and test Ruby. So let's open. Okay. So as you can see here, this is our project that we have just uh, paste these files. Now here, we need to create workflow like that right how to build and test ruby so here is our workflow so let's understand the workflow first so let's create a folder for workflow so click on new so first of all the folder name is github.github .github. Then slash one more folder workflows and in workflows our YAML file. So my YAML file will be test.yaml. And in this file, let's paste our workflow. Okay, this is our workflow. So first of all, name. So my workflow name will be build and test. Ruby. After that, on. So on push 
branch is main. So as of now, I have only one branch with the name main, then pull request main. Then job test runs on Ubuntu latest. So that's the operating system. So if you want to change this operating system, then you can use Mac OS, Windows and so on. After that, uses. So here I'm going to use this action checkout repository with the version three. Then after that uses this Ruby setup repository. Then here I'm going to use this Ruby version 3.1. Then install dependencies, then run test. So that's the, our simple workflow to build and test Ruby. So let's save this file. And now let's push this code into our repository. How to push? So let's enter commands. First of all, let's save this file and let's open new terminal. Now let's enter command to push. So the first command is git add dot. Then git commit hyphen m in double quote our commit. So our commit uh, will be files added. Then in last git push. It's done. So go to the repository and let's refresh the code. And as you can see here, we have successfully pushed our project and the language is Ruby as you can see here and the files. And here is our workflow, dot GitHub workflows. In this we have our test.yaml file. So let's check our workflow. So go to the actions and let's check. As you can see here, it succeed. You can see here. So let's check. And as you can see the status success. We have successfully build and test our Ruby. If you want to check step by step, then you can click on test and check here. So you can check. So you can check here the dependencies and so on. Okay. So now the next example is multiple versions. So here we have used single version. You can see here. Here if I open my workflow and here you can see here we have only we have run this workflow with only single version 3.1 so if we want to run this workflow with multiple versions like 2.9 3.3 and so on so how to so let's check so here i mentioned another workflow testing with multiple versions so let's check so first of all, let's create a new workflow and then let's understand the code first. Then multiple versions. Not yum. So now you can see here in strategy, here I use this matrix and in matrix you can see your Ruby versions and the version is 3.1, 3.0 and 2.7. And after that name here, we are going to use this action checkout repository and in setup Ruby, here you can see here I'm using this matrix with the name Ruby versions, right? That we have mentioned here. 
same for here with Ruby versions. And here we have three different versions, right? So let's run this workflow. So first of all, let's push this code and let's check what will happen. Now let's check, go to the actions. And as you can see here, oh, it's in progress. So this is our workflow with multiple versions. Let's check. So as you can see here, we have three versions, 2.7, 3.0 and 3.1. So as you can see here, oh, it's done 3.0. One job complete of three. Now you can see a three job completed. So if I click on this, all job. So as you can see, oh, now if I want to check this 3.0 version. So you can see oh, the steps. So if you want to check the particular particular version, then you can click on it and just check. So it's done. 